Namaste children. This is Jyoti Devgan from the Department of English. Today, I am going to teach you a new chapter, the Narayanpur Incident. Incident means some happening. Now, it has been written by Shashi Desh Pandey. She was born in Dharwar, Karnataka. She is an award-winning Indian novelist. She won the Sahitya Academy Award for her novel, That Long Silence, and has received Padma Shri in 2009. Now, as we know that history cannot give us a program for the future, but it can give us a greater understanding of ourselves and of our common humanity so that we can face the future in a better manner. The Narayanpur incident is a simple story of the residents of Narayanpur, a village in India. This incident happened during the time period when the Quit India movement was launched. Rather, it was initiated by Mahatma Gandhi. Now, while reading the story side by side, we'll be taking up the difficult words along with meanings. Now, said Manju, impatiently, impatiently meaning in an irritated manner. Tell me, where are we going? To watch a procession. Walk fast, we may be late. What procession? Whose procession? And where procession? You sound just like Ramabai, said Babu. Did she give you a quick lesson? Oh, be quiet about Ramabai. Tell me, Babu, what procession? Now this girl, Manju, is coaxing, forcing her brother to tell her where they were going. The college students are taking out a procession from their college to the collector's office. Mohan told me we would watch it. He says it's going to be a peaceful march. Peaceful meaning calm, quiet. And as we all know, Mahatma Gandhi, he always stressed on non-violence. There were already some people lining the roads, meaning there were so many people sitting near the roads. Manju and Babu found a good spot, spot meaning a good place, almost opposite the gate of the collector's compound. They had to wait for some time. Soon, they heard the magical words. They are coming, they are coming. The children, like the others, they all rushed out. They were so anxious to see what is the procession about. Policemen appeared all along the road. Along the road meaning road ke saath saath. Some of them walked in front of the students. Some by their sides. But the students marched as if the police did not exist. The police did not exist for them. The college students, they were so confident about this march. They walked in complete silence. There were no slogans. Now, what is the meaning of the word slogan? Slogan meaning short phrases which are shouted during a procession. Just the shuffle of feet and a low murmur. So, what was there exactly in the procession? Only the slogans, the shuffle of feet and the murmur. Now let me take up the meanings. Slogans, as I told you, they are short phrases used during a procession. The shuffle of feet meaning the sound of the feet. And murmur means a low sound or a low noise. From the watching crowd, Babu and Manju, looked eagerly for Mohan. Now, this is another character in this story. Yes, there he was.
was. Now what was he wearing? Dressed in white pajamas and a cream colored kurta with another boy both holding a loft. A loft meaning raising it high in the air. A picture of Mahatma Gandhi. Yes, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Their arms have ached holding it up that way for so long. But their faces were expressionless even if they, those children were tired of carrying that Mahatma Gandhi's poster. But they did not show it. Expressionless means on their face that expression of tiredness would, was not there. Now, the leaders of the procession had reached the barred gates. Barred meaning closed gates. A police officer, he was the DSP, means the superintendent of police. He was the DSP, Mohan told them later, came up to them. There was some conversation. Conversation meaning a talk between two people. There was some conversation between him and the students. The students seemed to be arguing. There is something wrong. They were not agreeing to something. The students seemed to be arguing. Then one of them handed him a piece of paper. He took it without glancing at it and nodded in agreement. Nodded meaning moved head up and down. And the DSP, he said, okay. The students turned their backs to him and one of them shouted, Mahatma Gandhi ki jay, jay. The others shouted back loudly and then they briskly marched back the way they had come. Bricks, now briskly means quickly. Is that all? Asked Manju in disappointment. For Manju it was like, oh, this was the procession you, were, you brought me for? What else did you want? A dance? A drama? Babu asked scornfully. Scornfully meaning with hatred and contempt. Now why did he have this hatred? Towards whom? It was towards the Britishers. Babu asked scornfully. Nevertheless, he understood her feeling and asked Mohan the same question when he returned home. Why did you go back so quietly? Were you scared of what the police would do? Mohan seemed immensely pleased with himself. Immensely means he was very pleased. Scared? We had planned it in this manner. We knew they expected us to protest and be violent. Oh yes, they wanted us to do that so that they could beat us up and haul us away to the jail. But we are not prepared to go to the jail. Now let me take up the meaning of the word haul. Haul meaning to pull somebody with great effort. What was the point then? Babu asked while Manju listened earnestly. Earnestly matlab sincere. It is like a declaration of war. Declaration meaning an official announcement of a war. We told them, now this is a war for us and you are our enemy. And what was the paper you gave the policeman? Now look at Manju's inquisitiveness. She keeps asking so many questions. That was a notice. We served on the collector as a representative of His Majesty's government. His Majesty's government means the British government. And representative means someone who speaks for someone else. Asking them to quit India or face the consequences. Meaning we have clearly told them 
that this is a war between the Indians and the Britishers. And you will have to face the consequences if you do not leave India, if you do not quit India. Suman and another boy turned up after they had finished their dinner that night. The boy staggered. Now, what is the meaning of the word? Staggered. It means that when you are not able to walk properly. In with a large newspaper covered parcel in his hands. That means he had something in his hand and he staggered. He could hardly walk. Here, let me help you, said Mohan. My room, okay? Amma, he asked his mother. No, I think Pooja room is better. A light there will look more normal. Right as usual, Amma, the Pooja room there. The boy went away after a whispered conversation. Whispered meaning, Kusar, Kusar. It was a whispered conversation with Suman. Then Suman, Amma and Mohan. Remember these three important characters of the story. Suman, Amma, Mohan. They went into the puja room, into the small puja room. Babu and Manju stared curiously. Now Babu and Manju, they were looking at it. Ki kya ho hai? Curiously means wanting to know something what has happened? Over their shoulders at the mysterious parcel. Now what is the meaning of the word mysterious? Meaning uh, something, you know, some in a hidden manner or something difficult to understand because it was wrapped up. Now, what was there in that mysterious parcel? Which turned out to be a cyclostyling machine. Now, what is a cyclostyling machine? Let's see. It is a machine which is used to make many copies. That means some um, kind of a machine which we use, uh, which we call a photocopier now. It used to be called a cyclostyling machine. So what was there in that packet? It was a cyclostyling machine. Babu said Mohan as they settled down to work. Sit out in in the front room and keep a watch. Tum dhyan rakhna. Koi aaya to nahi. Give us a warning if someone seems to be coming to our house. Manju, you go to bed. Or else, he went on noticing her crestfallen face. Now what is a crestfallen face? Means in a sad man. What is crestfallen? In a sad manner. Obviously because she was very interested in seeing what had happened. You sit here in the hall and pass on Babu's warning to us. Babu will be there in the front room. Anything or anybody, any sound you hear or anyone comes at the door, you are going to tell Manju. And Manju is further going to tell us. Amma, Suman, and Mohan got to work at once. Manju peered at them. What is peered? Looking carefully. From the hall. In a little while, she began to feel drowsy. Now, dekhte, dekhte, she started feeling drowsy, matlab, when you feel sleepy. And had to struggle not to doze off. Doze off meaning? She kept struggling that she should not sleep. Babu sat outside, alert and attentive, just like a guard. He felt a thickening in his throat. Thickening in his throat meaning he felt excited as well as emotional. It was beginning and at last he was doing something. At last he was doing something for the country. Suddenly he tensed. A man riding a bike stopped right outside their gate. Yes, he was getting off. He was opening their gate. Babu flung himself inside. 
flung himself means he ran inside. Manju turned a startled face to him because Manju was feeling so drowsy, sleepy and suddenly she was awoken. And with a startled face means heran ho gai. Someone is coming in. There was silence. From inside the puja room, three faces looked at him. Then Amma got up and came out, followed by Mohan. Suman stayed inside and Mohan closed the door of the room. Manju, to bed. Babu, you too. Tum dono so jau. There was a knock on the door. Babu rushed to his room, unrolled his bedroll and threw himself on it. What is a bedroll? When you take a mattress and you roll it. And he wanted to pretend as if he was sleeping. Now, who's there? Amma called Mohan. Go and see who it is. Manju, who had got into her bed too, noticed that though Amma's voice was steady, her hands were trembling. Trembling meaning shaking with fear. Now, coming back to the chapter, Mohan came in saying, Amma, it is Patil, the sub-inspector. Now, now, Mr. Patil says, I haven't come to trouble you. A strange voice said. Whose voice was it? The sub-inspector Patil. Your husband was my friend in school. I am a friend. Don't worry. Don't be nervous. Amma got up quickly and went out. Manju waited a moment and followed her. There was Baju Babu coming out of his room, making a show of having woken up out of a deep sleep as if he got up from sleep and he came outside rubbing his eyes. The man was saying to Amma, Yes, we were in school together. Oh, he was... Please, Patil Sahib, said Amma rather impatiently. Tell me, why are you here? Why have you come here? It's like this. There is going to be a search in your house. See, I am your friend, so I am telling you in advance that there will be a search in your house. Search matlab, dhunda dhunda hai. Aapke ghar mein koi aayega. Kuch dhunne ke liye. The mother says, when? Most probably tonight. Probably meaning, most probably means likely to happen. Take a break. When Amma says, when? Most probably tonight. I heard the sahibs talking. They were speaking of a cyclostyling machine. It seems you people are making copies of Mahatma Gandhi's speech. They say that you have people hiding here as well. Aapke ghar mein kuch log chupe huye hai. Aur aap Mahatma Gandhi ki speech ko cyclostyle karte ho, xerox karte ho and you are providing it to the local people. Ha! Mohan scoffed. Now, talking about the word scoffed. Laughing at someone. The meaning of the word is laughing at someone. Ha! Mohan scoffed. But you have the cyclostyling machine? No, said Mohan angrily. You are wasting your time spying on us. He said unnecessarily don't waste our time. The meaning of the word spying is keeping an eye secretly. Kisi ko watch karna. Tell me the man ignored Mohan and spoke to Amma. Yes. No, said Mohan angrily. You are wasting your time spying on us. The word spying means you are keeping an, an eye. You want to watch us secretively? Tell me the man ignored Mohan and spoke to Amma. 
Yes, Amma replied simply. And Mohan made an angry hissing sound. What is the hissing sound? He says, Shh! Why are you telling? Where is it? Sub-Inspector Patil asked. Inside, Amma said. Give it to me. I'll give it out of the way. I'll take it somewhere. Mohan burst out again. Amma, what are you doing? How can you trust a policeman? The man touched Mohan on the shoulder. And he said, Mohan, you are still very young. I am a policeman. Yes, but your father was and still is my friend. And this is my country as much as it is yours. Now give it to me quickly, please. Amma opens the door of the puja room and said, Suman, Suman emerged, looking anxiously at them. Emerged, meaning she came out. And anxiously means in a nervous manner. Amma smiled and said, You have to get away. Take away all the material. Mohan, will you? Mohan, duct. Duct meaning? Look at this word. To hide, to avoid, to be seen. As if wo chupna chahta tha. Into the puja room. And lugged the machine out. And gave it to Pat. Lugged meaning dragged with a lot of effort. Because it was heavy. Do you have a largish bag? The man asked. Now who's this man? Sub-inspector Pat. Do you have a largish bag? Means, do you have a large bag larger than this? Manju, Amma began, but Babu had already got it. And then they were gone. Patil, Mohan and Suman. The house seemed unbelievably quiet after the earlier activity. After all this, the house seemed to be quiet. Let's go to bed. Amma suggested. Amma very normally as if nothing happened. She says, let's go to bed. Mohan came back shortly. Means after a while. Suman, Manju asked him anxiously. She is alright. Go to bed, Manju. Amma said. Bed? With the police about to come? It was impossible. But nevertheless, she did drop off, meaning she lied down and pretended to sleep. She came out of her sleep to hear a loud knock at the door. Now once again, it was repeated. Manju sat up in a sudden fright. Who is it? Amma called very naturally as if she did not know what had happened. Open the door. A strange voice ordered. Mohan, see who it is, Amma very normally said. It was like, you know, as if they were going through something all over again. The same thing had happened. Earlier also there was a knock at the door, but it was a person they knew. That is Sub-Inspector Patil. Now, that is why the line says, it was like going through something all over again. But this time, they knew for sure that it wasn't a friend standing outside. No need for Mohan to announce. Amma, it is the police. So, what a lovely story, right? It talks about the freedom fighters.